as a boomer learning these things, I bought this Super One torch. Um, it cost $30 at my local smoke shop. I've been using Zippo brand butane for it. It's not the super refined, and I was having no problems. Then I bought the special blue, the tall can of ultra pure. It wasn't refined either, but expensive, uh, misleading labels and all that. So stay away from special blue. It is not ultra refined. It's not triple refined. It's not refined in any way. It's just 99.99% .99 pure European gas, whatever the hell that means, but it doesn't say anywhere on the can that it's refined. Um, neither does Zippo, of course, um, or any of those, but I've never had a problem with these. Um, and I've been using this since I bought it for my um, Valentine's Day gift in um, February. Uh, so anyway, I went to the box. Uh, because I watched the YouTube videos and they're like, oh, you need super refined butane. You need to do this. You need to take it apart. You need to do that. It's like, no, 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 no. And trying to find com uh, any kind of information on a company that makes these, does they just bring up websites to buy them, but there's no information, no support, nothing from the company. And it's, of course, made in China. But anyway, if you read it, it says, use any regular butane gas to refill the torch doesn't need refined so i'm wondering if putting refined gas or whatever that crap was uh it wasn't refined either but i don't know what was in there and the smoke shop was like well maybe you got a bad batch so they traded me this uh, i brought them that can back it was about half empty just from trying to get this to work yesterday but anyway, so I emptied it out. I used my handy-dandy little tobacco tool, and you, oh, I thought I emptied it out. But anyway, uh, I wanted to try the Zippo on it and see if it would work. Well, let's see if it'll work right now. It was spitting out butane, like clouds of butane. And then somebody said, oh, just light it, you know, and I lit it, and it was like a freaking flamethrower. So that was not the solution. Um, so I figure I'm hoping I can start over with the butane. This is how you fill. You, you put it in the hole and you hold it firmly until it starts to come back out like it just did. And then you safely. And then you have to wait five minutes for it to settle down before you can try it. But anyway, this is my experiment and my experience with special blue uh, crap butane and the zipper one hopefully not crap torch and zippo instead which i never had a problem with in my lighters or anything but my smoke shop is like oh now that you have a torch and you're dabbing and blah blah, blah maybe you should have this special blue stuff so yeah that luckily they allowed me to trade it in for the zippo so uh, they don't take returns like on the banger that I broke. Um, and apparently they're saying that the banger, um, that I heated it up red, which most of you, when you're dabbing, heat your devices up red and then you let it cool off. Well, you're not supposed to do that. It stresses the glass. And apparently this is glass welded. So by getting it red, it um, separated the glass weld and that's how the bottom broke off. At least that's the best explanation I've gotten so far. And everybody says to just throw it out and buy several more so you have a backup. I also have this cool little uh, glass, uh, little dab tool tip or whatever. It doesn't fit my uh, straws. I tried it once, didn't really like it. So I'm kind of like not sure. I just cleaned it. I don't know what to do with it. But anyway. I don't know if that lighter or if that torch is ever going to work again now. Uh, but I will never use special blue on anything again. Uh, hopefully later I'll be able to show you the torch being used, but as of right now, it's still not working. <laughs>